Uh, question number seven, Deputy Pringle. Thank you, Ken Corla. Uh, Minister, this question just relates into the, the share out of the possible herring quota in the North West that might be achieved uh, later this year that you indicated it might be possible to finalise in February. Thank you. Uh, you, you. You can take a look at the technical question in a minute, but let me just answer you directly because uh, I'd like um, to get a strong message across here, if I can, to, uh, to this sector because I'm very conscious of the fact that there's huge frustration in Donegal and in the North West generally, which actually comes right down to the Iron Islands, actually, this, this, this fishery. Um, there's real frustration that actually we've seen a Celtic sea herring fishery you know, being profitable and very progressive in recent years in terms of strong quotas and so on. And in the Northwest, there's been real frustration. Uh, we had a very robust and difficult conversation this December in relation to this fishery. Uh, the science has changed. Uh, the advice now is that the basis for the setting of quota, or in the case of the Northwest herring fishery, the non quota for the last number of years, that that science is flawed in terms of understanding uh, the, uh, the two herring stocks. Uh, that are in that area, north of Scotland and south of Ireland, uh, and how they interact with each other. Uh, and so what we have agreement now with the Commission is that we will determine what quota is allocated on the basis of, of, uh, of a new estimate of our understanding of how these um, uh, two stocks are interacting with each other, um, uh, on the basis of making a decision to allow time to actually get more accurate assessment. And I have insisted that actually Ireland or the, the southern stock would get at least 30% of whatever is allocated. Uh, and don't forget that last year the northern stock or the Scottish stock was at, I think, 20,000 tonnes or something. So they've gone from 20,000 tonnes to zero. We've, we've stayed at zero. We're, we are, I hope, going to see in February some figure, uh, which will be a lot less than 20,000. But we will insist on getting a, a fair share of that. Uh, and I can promise you this, that when we do, uh, the inshore fishing fleet will be getting a fair share of whatever we get to ensure that we have an inshore uh, fishing uh, uh, option for small boats off the northwest coast right down to the Iron Islands to catch herring. Thank you. Uh, and I think everybody knows that. I've made it very clear to the big boys and the small boys that that's what I want to do. Thank you. Um, so I think we'll have a good news story for the inshore fishing fleet uh, towards the end of February when we have a number. Uh, and I can tell you that, um, uh, that we are committed and I certainly want to make this commitment, even if I'm gone, I hope this commitment will be followed through on, that actually this will be a new option for the inshore fleet uh, in the North West. They need new options. Thank you. And I think this is a great opportunity for them to get something positive. Deputy Pring. Uh, Minister, <coughs> thanks very much. That, that is positive news. And <coughs> I think it's... It should be a positive message for the fishermen and shore fishermen, particularly the very small under 10 metre fishermen in Donegal and the North West. You know, it's very hard to explain to fishermen why there's a zero, zero quota in the North West when actually in the last couple of weeks there has been herring caught off the pier in uh, Arnmore Island. And actually I was talking to a fisherman over the weekend there where his son caught herring at the, off the slipway in, uh, in Malamore in Glen Colum Kill um, with a rod and a line and um, didn't know what they were. Um, you know, so there's so much, there's, anecdotally there's, so, there's such a strong uh, stock there that they actually can catch them off the pier now. Um, so you know, I think that's, that's good news and I hope, I hope that you do make sure, I know in the last, last time when there was quote in the North West, only 5% was made available to the under 10 metre segment and uh, I think we need to see significantly more than that and I think we need to look at maybe, there's been a lot of talk in the past about active farmers, we have to look at that active fishermen as well. Yeah, no, I, I, um, look, I think we're probably on one of this issue, uh, which is good to hear. Um, I, I mean, uh, look, I'd be careful with, with using anecdotal, you know, uh, evidence around stocks. I mean, we have... We have scientists who are out trying to understand this stock and how the north and south stocks interact with each other, where they interact and so on. The one thing I can tell you for sure is that we are taking a very robust line in relation to this because we feel we've been unfairly treated in the past because, of th because we think the scientists got it wrong. And I think they've accepted that. So we're not going to allow that happen again. Uh, and so whatever quota is there now for both the north and south stocks, um, we will insist on getting a fair share of that. I've put a marker down that we look for 30% of whatever is on offer. Um, and I've also said uh, to the industry and to the insurance sector that I want a, a, a viable 
portion of that for the inshore sector so that they can actually go out and have an active fishery here. Uh, but look, we need to get the actual quota first, right? Thank and you. then let's, let's, let, let's <coughs> split what's there. But certainly I'd be hopeful that we would be able to see an inshore fishing fleet with, you know, with maybe up to 1,000 tonnes, uh, which, would, which would really allow a lot of small boats to be able to create um, some viable fishing options out of that. Thank but you. but we'll, we'll hopefully know that by the end of February.